I ask myself always the question as a judge, forget it now that I've been Mr. Olympian all this, but let's say I'm not a judge and I sit there. The question is, whose body do I want to have? That's what it comes down to. And I think that uh, Cedric had such a beautiful body. He was so well proportioned that I thought he should have placed higher than he did. And, uh, and unless, unless we, we change the judging procedure, and unless we do something about where they stop just using guys with the biggest neck and the biggest muscle, but not look as pleasing. Because look at the old days when Steve Reeves won. When Steve Reeves won, and you saw him on the beach, you say to yourself, I would love to have this guy's body. Wow, look at how beautiful this man looks. But that's not what you can say about those guys the day they win those competitions. And so what I'm trying to tell the judges is that you got to go and consider, look at everything. Like for instance, so many of those guys have their stomach sticking out. You know, what, is, what, what are we talking about here? I mean, it used to be that you should have a V-shaped body. Now, I don't know, it's like kind of like a bottle shaped body or something like that. <laughs> but it's not that it's a kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing that is happening on stage that no one can pull in their stomach anymore for a long period of time and stand on stage with a vacuum and pull in stomach, shoulders out and to look athletic. So it's all of this, you know, kind of, you know, the stomach sticking out and all of this kind of, it doesn't look right anymore. And so we have to just make sure that we are rewarding the right guys, because if you reward the right guys, then everyone will start training to have a beautiful body again, rather than a powerful or a powerful body. So we have Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan taking back in with another video. I hope you guys enjoy hearing Arnold ramble about bodybuilding today. And I do have to mention this was from a 2015 speech. I guess this was after the 2015 Arnold Classic, but I definitely want to share this with you guys because I believe a lot of these same points are relevant today. Now, granted, in 2015, the bubble good bonanza, I guess, was at an all time high. You know, we had Kai Green. I don't think Phil he really had a bubble good chip. We had Roly Winkler. And even as I shared a picture earlier in this video, you know, Ronnie Coleman had the bubble good at the time. Dorian Yates later on in his career. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about this? And Arnold Schwarzenegger did say for this to change, the judging criteria has to change. So I guess he was very happy when Sean Roden finally would beat Phil Heath. Where arguably Phil Heath beat Sean Roden in all the muscle groups, but he just didn't flow as well. May Sean Roden rest in peace. But this was a very interesting interview for me. Now, do you guys think Arnold was a bit harsh here? Or do you guys think everything he was saying needs to be said? And we also have a lot of other guys that weren't necessarily top pros. And some guys that weren't even pros, they had really bad bubble goods. And those are the main ones that you will see. But the most notable would probably be Phil Heath, Kai Green, you know, Dexter Jackson. But very, very interesting from Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I kind of understand his take, especially in 2015. This is at an all-time high. But where the sport is now, I don't think we really have this issue. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video, man. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, are you guys enjoying the content on the channel? You know, are you guys enjoying these old interviews, speeches? And I also have a couple of old posing routines I will get to soon. I'm Christian from Go Fitness, and I'm out.